so when uh, when James Houghton and I um, had decided uh, to commence with a project um, to put together uh, a book, an anthology of first-person stories about men, um, we started talking to our friends about it and quickly had uh, a group of essays that we thought were pretty good, but we realized that they're all guys like us, you know, kind of 40-something uh, white guys who worked in finance, which was pretty boring, to be honest with you. Um, and so I took it as an assignment to um, go find guys who were really different. Uh, part of the idea of our book was to have voices of all kinds of men, rich, poor, black, white, uh, suburban, urban, gay, straight, uh, from all over the country. Um, so I, I actually talked to initially three people who I thought could help me, um, two uh, very well-known authors. One, uh, Seb Younger, who had written Perfect Storm. Uh, second would be uh, Matt Weiner, uh, who is the creator of the show Mad Men, both of whom I went to Wesleyan with. And the third was actually my hairdresser, um, uh, Beth, who I've been going to for 17 years and knows everybody. Um, and through those three people, I created this kind of web um, or one thing led to another, which led to another, which led to another. Um, Seb, for instance, um, wasn't able to write for us. He's working on his own book, uh, but he put me in touch with a guy named Michael Camber, um, who's one of the best known war photographers, uh, works for the New York Times pretty much, but also for others. Um, and I got in touch with Michael. Uh, Michael. Uh, he was uh, in Iraq at the time, um, and I e emailed him this long, uh, discourse on why we want to write this book about manhood and he emailed me back and he said um, I think about it every day as I watch guys slaughter each other I have no answers um, and I thought to myself that's perfect um, we need him um, and so through uh, satellite phone conversations and emails uh, he agreed to participate in our project um, uh, another person was um, Matt Weiner's mentor at Wesleyan was a guy named Franklin Reeves, um, uh, father of Superman actually, um, who put me on to um, a John Chi, who's a professor in Vermont, but it fam whose family had been miners in Boot, Montana uh, for generations, and so it was a very, very different uh, kind of voice. Um, a friend of mine, another friend of mine from Wesleyan actually put me in touch with a guy named Julio Mendina. Um, who's a, a, a Puerto, Puerto Rican man who at one time was the, um, uh, the, the most powerful uh, drug lord in the South Bronx and had gone to uh, Sing Sing uh, with his gang who were all arrested by a federal task force <coughs> for life. And after 15 years, um, had gotten out of Sing Sing and had a real uh, life-changing experience where um, he actually started an organization to help other men leaving prison stay out of prison um, so I went down to Harlem and, and hung out with Julio and got his story um, so I, I tried to create um, as many different voices as we possibly could with the idea that there is no one answer to what it means to be a good man um, but in this kind of fabric of stories um, a reader could come to their own conclusion.